Hey everyone, welcome to your Friday workout. Today is a significant day because it represents 9-11, which is a tribute wad back to September 11th, 2001, which is now going back 19 years. We're almost at the 20 year mark. It's pretty remarkable that it's been so long, but it's gonna be a tribute wad to our 9-11 uh, terrorist attack that hit uh, New York City and basically the US. Changed the world as we know it. I was around when this happened, and I remember it was a pretty scary day. But 9-11, uh, the terrorist attacks hit the US. So 2001 is gonna be representative in our row today. It represents the year. And then the reps of 9-11 are gonna represent September 11th, okay? We want you to remember, and all the people who were lost during that tragic event, but a total of 2,977 people lost their lives during the September 11th attack. Of that, 265 were lost on the four planes that crashed, 2,606 at the World Trade Center, 125 at the Pentagon, 343 firefighters of the New York Fire Department, 37 police officers for the Port Authority, and 23 police officers for the New York Police Department lost their lives during the attack. So as you can see, it impacted quite a lot of people, and even if people weren't involved or around that, um, it impacted all of us. So it's definitely a time in history that we're going to remember. So as we go through this workout, remember why we're doing it. It's to remember the date, remember the significance of it, remember all those people that lost their lives for that and we're giving tribute. Okay, so it is technically like a hero wad. We bought, got this one um, online. So there's several different versions of this workout that you can do, but this is the one we chose for tomorrow. So we're gonna have a 25 minute time cap. We're gonna buy in with a 2001 meter row. Okay, so like I said, that represents our year. If we're not bike, ro rowing, we're biking, and it's gonna be double that, so 4,002 meter bike, okay? Once you're done with that, you're gonna move on to your three rounds per time, which is gonna be nine thrusters, 11 toes to bar, nine snatches, 11 toes to bar, and that's one round. And then you're gonna do that again, and then our final round. So as we're doing this, the nine and 11 obviously represents the September 11th, and we want these thrusters and snatches to be pretty difficult, okay? This is gonna be a grip intensive workout because you're gonna be hanging from the bar on toes to bar. Think of it, 22 a round, okay? You're also gonna hold onto that bar for thrusters and snatches. You'd be smart to split this, these reps up on the barbell as well as the toes to bar, okay? If you're stronger on the toes to bar, you can go with bigger sets, but they will add up quickly, okay? So don't try to go unbroken. I would recommend, my goal is to split these thrusters in half, five and four, move on to your toes to bar. Five and six would be a good goal. If you have to split that more, you can. We don't want any more breaks than about three more, three or more breaks, okay? So you can break three times, which would be okay, but no more than that. If you have to go to singles right away on the thrusters or singles on those snatches, the weight is too heavy, but we do want it to be heavier, and I'll talk about the weight in a second. Moving on to the snatches, you could go threes or maybe singles there, that would be fine, and then moving into the toast of bar. Now, these are snatches. Remember, I told a couple people in class yesterday that when it just says snatch, it's implied that it's a full snatch, okay? The only time that we don't squat snatch is when it's specified power, okay? So if the word power is in there, that means that we're going to use catch in power. Thanks, Nick. Got my coffee. For tracks, wellness, it's gonna be 55 for the guys, 45 for the ladies. You can go with an empty bar as well, okay? Power snatches are allowed here, so we signify power snatching. Hanging strict knee raises is what we're gonna do for the toaster bar. When we move on to masters and teens, we're gonna do 115 for the guys, 85 for the ladies. 135, 95 for fitness and performance. These weights are meant to be heavy and challenge you, okay? So I've already had a few people mention that 135 is too heavy. They're gonna scale down to 115 because that's a weight that they feel they can do and still challenge them and that's fine, okay? So we're gonna go with a heavier weight. It should hurt. You should be able to complete this in your time cap. If you think about a 2,001 meter row, that's roughly gonna take faster rowers around six minutes, 6.30. Most of us around seven and eight, and then that gives us enough time to finish three rounds. So that's about six minutes a round after your row. Okay, so you should be able to get through that. September 11th, 2001 was a terrible day in history. And we're gonna give our tribute to all those people that fought for our freedom, obviously, right after that, and who lost their lives. So remember that as you're going through this workout. It's a great tribute wad. We'll see you tomorrow for Saturday. Hopefully you survived this one. It's gonna hurt a little bit, that's okay.